first things first, we have to cultivate a vibe with a candle and our board. So then I pick out my cheeses. I have an Italian cheese and then a chipotle gouda for some spice and then a cheddar just because everyone likes cheddar. You can't go wrong. And I like to get these little picks so everyone knows what they're eating and the knives, of course. I try to plan it out on my phone before I <laughs> figure out where things go, but you know. Then I have my meats. I like to do prosciutto and salami. You can do whatever you like, but I like two different kinds. And then for the salami, it is an art form, not to be dramatic, but you're gonna take it and fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So it kind of has like a ruffled fan effect to it. And you're gonna start placing it. And I like to do mine across the whole board in a diagonal or whatever shape I'm feeling. I kept it simple and I figured diagonal for this. So it's hard to keep them together because they are greasy, but you keep them as a fan and you push them together and then it creates like kind of a ruffle effect and it honestly looks so beautiful on the board. So I try to do that and then halfway I was thinking maybe I'll put something in for interest to go at the end of the salami, kind of like um, a book border is the best way I could describe it. So it keeps all the ruffled like fan together and then I'm getting ready to do the other side of it. So it's a little time consuming and your hands get a little bit greasy, <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. So you just keep doing the double fold to get that like fan effect and you hold them together. Sometimes I'll make a bunch and hold it down with a knife or something and do the rest. But yeah, it really looks beautiful for processed meat on the board. <laughs> so then I just wanna keep building it and I, I wanted, I was trying to get the effect of a diagonal, but then it kind of started doing a swooping motion, but I was fine with it. And then I took the other half of my orange and decided to put it on the other edge so it would have like a stopper. Um, I thought it came out really good. I really like the orange. I just thought it looked really pretty. And then it's time to place my Gouda. I clearly couldn't figure out which way to put it. Normally they say to put the ends of a cheese to the outside so people can reach for it, but it was just me and a couple friends, so. I figured it doesn't matter, we can put it towards the inside of the board and we're only facing one way. And then I put my balsamic cheese and I really couldn't figure out how I wanted this to go, um, especially because then I was putting the rind on the outside and I like to put the rind on where you're not going to be taking the cheese from, if that makes sense, because everyone avoids the rind. I know you can eat it on some cheeses, but nobody wants to eat the rind of a cheese. And then I put my little marker on it. I think I got these at Home Goods, and they're honestly amazing. You can dry erase board marker them and you can just wipe it off when you're done. This cheese was a struggle. It's enveloped in wax that I had to cut off before I put it on the board. And I didn't like the way it looked because I thought it looked like butter, but it was delicious, honestly. So then I'm moving on to my next meat, which is gonna be prosciutto. This is my personal favorite. I was using the Trader Joe's brand because it's all I had at the moment. If you're on Long Island, you should really get it from Ivorone, the Italian like market. They have the best prosciutto. But for my prosciutto, I like to make what I've seen on TikTok. It's called like prosciutto nests. And you kind of just like wrap them around in a circle and pull out the middle of them. And then I put some grapes for fruit. You know, gotta get some fruit on the board at some point. <laughs> And then I decided to put some more prosciutto nests on the side of my balsamic cheese. I will say that was such a good combo. The balsamic cheese turned out to be my favorite on the board, which I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it. So then I'm moving on to my crunchy, more texturized items for my board. I have some crackers. I think they're the nut thins. Um, dark chocolate pretzels were a game changer. And then I have the pepita pumpkin seeds. And then I have some other everything bagel pretzels. So what I'm trying to do with the pepita seeds, I don't even think I pronounced that right. I try to fill in little gaps. And whenever I have like little berries, like blueberries or blackberries or my nuts, sometimes I'll do a bowl of nuts, but I think it's best to fill in the little gaps that you see on the board with the nuts and then do crackers around it because everyone wants to see a board that's totally full and like looks lush and so much stuff to pick around. So that's why I love just throwing the nuts in little like corners. You can pretty much use whatever crackers you think are gonna go best. Um, I just thought this was easy. I love the nut thins and these everything bagel pretzel crisps are delicious and they go really good with the cheddar because sometimes cheddar can be a little boring so I like to have a cracker with some sort of flavor to it for that cheese and I don't really 
do the put the cracker next to the cheese it's gonna go with and I should but sometimes I just put it where it's gonna look best because I'm a slave to Instagram and I want to look good so then I just added the pretzels covered in chocolate for a sweet touch they honestly made the board I'm gonna start adding them more often I put one under the oranges a little peekaboo <laughs> but that's the board it was really simple um, I'm giving you a little board tour now that cheese cracked but that's okay it was honestly super simple these boards are not hard to make it's just figuring out like spatially where things should go best and that's totally up to you guys so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you make a charcuterie board or cheese board, whatever you want to call it, please tag me. If someone recreates this, I would love to see, especially if you do everything in different directions, but let me know. Don't forget to follow me at Beauty the Foodie, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Love you. Bye.